In this video I want to discuss this lathe fixture, in particular the edge clamps I've used. So what has to be turned is this diameter in this face in this particular fixture. It's the very first turning operation on the part. It's being done from a raw casting. And as we can see, there's a part here. So there's a clearance hole in this part of the lathe chuck to allow clearance for this. So our three point location, I'll make this transparent. It's just a hardened ground O1 plate here that the, sits against. So there's our three point location. And then this is essentially a V block, these two locators, which are bolted and doweled into place. And here's our final location for this part. It goes into this hole. It doesn't matter that it can move a bit. Both edge clamps will be tightened up and that will recenter the part. But again, it's turning, so it won't matter the exact orientation of this. So this is a good example of edge clamps because we need to be able to cut this surface. We have to clamp the part, but we need our clamping element below any surface being machined. So if I look at it here, we can see the edge clamps are safe and they won't be machined. I have soft jaws in them, so they won't damage the surface. And again, edge clamps work by tightening this screw down on the 45 degree angle. So half the clamping force is applied down and half the clamping force is applied directly towards my V-block on the fixture. The other thing we should consider when making a custom lathe fixture such as this, it's going to look normal to this face. So where's the center of gravity? It's important this chuck be balanced. So we want the center of gravity as close to the center as possible. If the lathe chuck isn't balanced, counterweights can be added at various locations around the plate or holes can be drilled into it.